Hey guys, welcome back to John's Watch. Today I'm taking a look at a game called Manual Samuel. Now this game came out on October 14th, 2016. It trigger price is $9.99 US or your regional equivalent. And it's developed by Perfectly Paranormal and published by Curve Digital. So this game is a classic adventure game with a bit of a twist. Basically after he makes a deal with death, uh, Samuel has to survive for 24 hours, controlling his entire body manually. And uh, obviously it's going to, I assume it's going to be a bit like, kind of like Octodad kind of thing. It says it's best played with a controller, uh, as these kinds of games are. So, we're gonna start it right up. It does have co-op, but it looks like it's locked right now. Um, just story mode is fine. New game. Our story begins in the middle of the 40s, when a hopeful young soldier called Sam Oh, uh, we're not doing that? Our story begins in the middle of last Tuesday, where a hopeless young freeloader called Sam is sipping a fancy cup of coffee with a name nobody can pronounce. Sam was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. But not the actual spoon that he has in his mouth now. That is a different spoon. But a figurative spoon that represents all the wealth and attention that he has been receiving from his parents. And their butlers. And their butler's parents. You're a douche, aren't you, Sam? Blink twice if yes. <laughs> he can't hear me. This is Sam's girlfriend, also not being heard by Sam. She's mad at Sam for his lack of responsibility, produced by his large wealth. She also mentions the fact that Sam has forgotten her birthday for the third year in a row. Sam's girlfriend is upset. As with most rich and famous brats, Sam does not pick up on that. Instead, he decides to lay this gem. Things just work out for me, baby. I can't just run around and do stuff. I'd end up with a limp spine then, or something. Sam's girlfriend does something she should have done a long time ago. Sam is laying unconscious on the floor. He gathers his strength and makes an effort to get up. Wow, that was quite the intro. Okay, let's get up. Then he makes another effort to stand up straight. For some reason Sam it is on the D-pad. So hard, he has to remind himself how to walk. He takes a right step. Then he takes a left step. Good job, Sam! Thanks. Oh, very good at existing. Huh? How dare you startle my child? An overprotective <laughs> mother hurls a cup of coffee in Sam's face. He has to blink rapidly to regain his vision. That was some Thanks, rapid Harold? blinking. Oh, gee. How is our son? <laughs> Sam remembers the one thing he's good at. He can't fend Paying for stuff. So he turns around to pay for his beverage. Oh, what's the difference? Getting yeah, pretty good at this walking. Oh shit. There we go. Hello. Hello, Tony. Sam pays the guy <laughs> 500 euros, barely covering the coffee. Thanks for the tip, douchebag. Sam decides to hurl another 500 at the guy. Not such a douchebag after all. Sam is <laughs> stacks of 500s left and right. He has no perception of money. Sam is about to spend his whole weekly allowance on tipping a barista named Tony. <laughs> he really was hit hard in the head. Holy feces. I'll just start my own coffee shop. Once again, Sam makes someone quit their job by tipping them too much. <laughs> awesome. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Suckers! <laughs> oh, it's nice we got that little extra bit. Here we go. And open the door. Nice. Sam spends a decade making his way out the door, which is as Sam waggles outside. Oh, sorry. He sees his girlfriend on the other side of the road. Sam pulls himself together and rushes towards his soon-to-be ex-girlfriend. 
Sure hope I don't get hit by a car walking across this, this road. This is when a septic tank truck approaches Sam with an average speed of 90 kilometers per hour. The impact renders him eight types of dead. Rip. Rip Sam. Yeah, she just saw uh, uh, her boyfriend die in front of her eyes. Oh god. <laughs> There goes my shoe. This is a very funny game so far. There you go, Manuel Samuel. Got a pretty cool soundtrack. It's like five bucks on Steam, or four bucks. Oh, this must be me, like, on the way down to hell, I guess. Oh, we're getting there now. <laughs> yeah, pretty sure this is gonna be hell. Oh, nice, chair on express. A bottle to the face would result in such a terrible fate for Sam. But a bottle won't be the only thing that will meet Sam's face today. There's also the ground in hell. It is hell. Uh, Alright, there we go. Up we get. Sam does not like being dead a single bit. He also hates the eerie feeling of not having any cash on him. <laughs> then he finds seven glowing notes in his pocket. That makes him feel reasonably better. <laughs> Have a he nice day. Thanks. The source of the Oops. sound is none other than obliteration and oblivion, extermination and extinction, the end, decease and demise, the grim reaper, death. He's trying to do a kickflip on a skateboard <laughs> and is dressed like a douchebag for some reason. In his coarse, horrifying voice, he lays this on town. Yo, yo, yo! You must be Sam from the info I was provided. Then he takes a second look at Sam and his eye sockets widen. <laughs> Holy feces, dude. Your soul be like a diamond. Let me cut you a deal that we can seal. Go on then. Aight, man. It decided. The notes in Sam's pocket are something called a shred of life. Every soul has at least one, and it is the biggest unit in Hell's currency, followed by quality of life, school of life, sound of life, meaning of life, and thug life. <laughs> if you give me your shit, really I'll resurrect your face and get you <laughs> out of Hell on one condition. You'll have to survive 24 hours with a handicap I choose under my supervision, bro. Sam decides to check out the rest of hell before doing any deals with supernatural beings. Uh, do I have to? Can't I just... Crap, okay. Fine. Why, hello there, dear sir. Let's see if we can find a job for you. You get to be... Ooh, a plumber. That'll be all your shreds, dear sir. All right, that sounds fair. Yes. <laughs> Sam notices that the souls that get into hell are forced to get a job and become functioning souls of society. For most people, this is okay, but for Sam, it's horrifying. He hurls his shreds at death like he's never hurled piles of money before. Oh, hello there, dear sir. Let's see if we can- Take me with you, death. You. Hello? You get to be, ooh, a minesweeper. That'll be all your shreds, dear sir. Could be worse, whatever. Death. <laughs> can I go? Please. There, dear, sir. Let's Here we go. He keeps the last shred for the next time he meets the gatekeeper of hell. Whenever that's going to be. Hehe. <laughs> I, bro. I only get to do these deals annually. But if you really want to live in biz, you have to do it manually. Also, I will stop speaking in rhymes now. <laughs> Amazing. I assume I'm going to be alive now. 
Uh, probably. On my money boat. Sam has just travelled through time, space, and logic, and finds himself fully alive. And more importantly, rich again. His joy is only dimmed by the fact that he can't move at all. <laughs> this is when he shows up. Death. Yo, yo, yo! Oh, oh yeah, you look horrible. I mean, <laughs> you look great, bro. Uh, you be okay? Can you hear me? Um, blink twice if yes. I blinked. Oh, cool. You be alive. Everything be fine. <laughs> I'm turning blue. All right, so this here be the dealing biz. All your body functions be manual, so you kind of have to do stuff on purpose. Um, you be turning kind of blue. Might want to consider breathing. Uh, X. <gasps> oh, my God. All right. <laughs> Bitchin! You be blinking and breathing, that be bitchin'. <laughs> so, all right. Go survive for a day, and I'll let you live normally for the rest of your life. If you somehow die within the next 24 hours, you'll go to hell and I'll keep your shreds forever. I'll be over there doing kick flips if and you need me. Holy shit, Once this again, is gonna be so Sam hard. to make an effort to get up. This time, he has to focus on his spine. And, once again, he has to remind himself how to walk. Oh, by the way, uh. dude, you be getting late for work. Sam does something that resembles walking toward the bathroom. Gonna do a kickflip now. That's great, Death. See ya. <laughs> Skateboard. Sam tries uh. out a strange maneuver by stepping with the same leg twice. <laughs> Sam like, has some trouble with his posture oh, and crap. has to focus on his spine. How? There we go. Sam holds on to that toothbrush like his life depends on it. <laughs> what? Oh, I see. Sam's vision is blurrier. Sam is dumb enough to breathe in with his mouth full of Fuck. water. He has to cough. <laughs> this is so hard. There is so much Sam concentration on this. Fuck! And has to focus on his spine. Just trying to blink occasionally. I hurry up and finish this. Sam, with clean teeth, <laughs> Sam is ready to smile. He won't for at least 24 hours. Though. Um, <coughs> there we go. Whew, almost died. Okay. He has to use his Fuck. opposite leg to get up again. Sam tries to take a leak. Oh, God. Sam uh, has some trouble with his posture and has to focus on his spine. Uh. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> this is so hard. So hard to concentrate as, and try and do commentary as well. Fuck. Sam takes a leak everywhere, including but not limited to himself. Oh, I forgot to fucking blink. Later, Sam moves on. Your spine, Sam. Fuck. It matters. Okay, here we go. Blink, Sam. Blink. <laughs> Fine. Ah, oh, shower. Sam tries to take a shower. He looks like a mantis that's trying to explain to someone how a bicycle works. Uh, and we clean soon. Sam is clean Ooh. as a whistle. Good job, Sam. Thanks. You're uh, impressing no fuck. one, Sam. Okay, uh, fuck. Off we go. God damn it. <laughs> Don't know why I lose track so easily. Here we go, Sam. God damn it, Sam. Sam! Clean and empty, Sam decides to find some clues. Oh god, this is gonna be horrible. Board. Hi, let's see. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. 
Sam can cool. open doors now. Clever boy. <laughs> His spine just stops working sometimes. Oh, is that it? There we go. Hopefully. Sam enters his wardrobe. Okay. What will he wear today? Uh, he some picks pants. a pair of blue jeans. The ugly ones. Oops. Okay. Sam successfully wow. puts on his pants, feeling more accomplished than ever. He proceeds to find a jacket. Only the best one will do. Sure. I'm going to take whatever. He settles for a mediocre one. Thank you. Um, <laughs> okay. Fully um, clothed, cool. Sam is ready for the day. <gasps> P.S. He's not. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna have to leave the video there. It's uh, really, really hard to to concentrate. I forgot to breathe out. It's really, really hard to concentrate on it and do commentary at the same time. <laughs> really fun though, holy crap, look I'm just dying while I'm trying to do an outro. Now yeah, just let him die. Yeah, there you go, that was Manual Samuel. Very funny game. Um, it's got a different control scheme to Octodad, but it's the same kind of idea. But yeah, pretty good. Thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! I haven't gotten any help whatsoever <laughs> this whole I'm fucking still game. Gonna lose. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, what are you doing? <laughs> Look at that. Zero deaths, twelve deaths. Oh my god. <laughs>